Um, my guest on the line here is uh, Dr. Vish Hegde. He is a clinical assistant and professor of pediatrics um, at uh, Neo UCOM, uh, a graduate. He's from uh, in Kent, Ohio. And um, um, as we start to kind of close up the show here a little bit, I'd like to I'd like to end on a, on, on a you know a little bit higher note, um, kind of looking forward um, as far as you know what can we do as alumni? What can the school do to kind of get through this kind, you know, controversial decision, controversial period, um, you know, awkward type of time, especially since the new president's going to be inaugurated in 13 days. Um, what would you, what would, what would you recommend or, or what would you like to see from the school or from the administration um, you know, as we go forward, you know, after this, you know, controversial type of decision and process? I mean, I would like to see um, improved communication. Um, I think that's, that's number one. It goes above and beyond everything. Um, now that the decision is done, I'd probably like to hear the presidents or, you know, the other, um, the deans, um, thoughts and views as far as, why this happened, um, you know, at least show us the evidence. Um, that's what I'm looking for is, you know, show us the reason why, you know, show us how many people were interviewed, what, what were the comments, what were the, the thought processes with the names. You know, like I mentioned earlier, you know, somebody mentioned, you know, why not keep the new UCOM acronym and just try to work around it, call it Northeast Ohio University Center of Medical Sciences. Um, you know, those are, those are things that need to be answered. Um, you know, am I going to get a new diploma is, is the diploma that I have on the wall, is that going to be still valid? Um, you know, there's, there's lots of unanswered questions, and, and I've tried to communicate these through my letters and emails to the school, and I've gotten some answers, but I still have a lot more questions, and I think those need to be answered. And, you know, maybe having some sort of a meeting at the school on a given day sometime soon and, and have, have everyone there that was part of the decision-making process ex- at least explain um, why this has happened because I'm still waiting for those questions to be answered. Uh, yeah. And I think there's a, there's a larger question here as far as, you know, alumni, you know, I think a very, a lot of alumni are hurt by this, um, because they didn't feel like they were hurt. They didn't feel like they were part of the process. Um, and I think, uh, I think you, you referenced it in one of your letters that they did not feel an identity with the school. They didn't, they don't feel, um, connected to the school, um, anymore. Um, and, um, as, as we discussed, I mean, that can have huge implications when it comes to, you know, alumni, you know, volunteering their time to teach or, you know, giving money to the school for whatever reason. Um, unfortunately, you know, it, something like that would, would ultimately, um, you know, hurt the uh, existing students who were there, but, you know, that alumni don't feel any, uh, that their voice was heard and feel like that they would be the, the only way that they would be heard. Um, what, what I would like to see is, you know, I, I would like to see, you know, administration kind of reach out, uh, to, uh, to alumni. I would like to see, um, them reach out and go to, you know, the, the, uh, the hospitals or, you know, and, and do outreach that way instead of having people come to the school, um, uh, in case people don't know, um, you know, the, the medical school is kind of in the center of, of uh, three cities uh, where there's hospitals. Um, and it does take, depending on where you're at, somewhere between, you know, 30 and 60 minutes uh, to get to the school uh, from, from the hospitals that, that feed into the school. And, uh, you know, that geographic type of challenge, you know, if people are hurt, I don't see them coming, oh, well, I want to drive all the way out to the school and, and, and for them to tell me that they're not going to do anything. I mean, I, I, I don't know how successful that would be just to have a meeting at the school, in my opinion. I don't know. Um, I, sure. I, would, I would like to see them take and go an extra step, you know, and, and, you know, and reach out to us in that way. Um, you know, go out of their way to recognize alumni, um, you know, like, a, I don't know, some type of event or something like that. Somewhere where we can still recognize the outgoing name as kind of a historical, you know, event. Um, but still recognize the new name. Um, I think there are there are some steps that that uh, uh, I think administration and the school need to do to to make 
um, alumni feel valued again because if they don't feel value to the school, um, it's going to be um, huge consequences down the line as our as our good friend MD student um, in the chat room there has already uh, has already talked about. Yeah, I totally agree. You know, as you know, I I personally have given a lot of my time to the school as far as you know. I have medical students come in my office. I'm on the admissions committee. I've been on academic review and promotions committees. You know, I have residents that come into the office. I mean, those are all kind of part of new UCOM duties. You know, those are all... And those are all volunteer. Duties. All of those are volunteer. I mean, yeah. you, you don't get paid for any of that type of stuff. Yeah, so, I mean, you know, I, I do that. That's how I give back to the school um, is do those types of things. And I think I'll continue to do all those things. But, you know, with this type of um, situation, a lot of the alumni are very, very hurt and... Like you mentioned, it's it's going to hurt the education aspect of things if people um, decide not to give as much of their time as well as their money. You know, I, I think I think from a financial standpoint, I think a lot of alumni are not going to give as much as they used to, or they're going to stop contributing to the medical school. And these are all types of things. I mean, we're we're affiliated with Kent, Akron, Youngstown State, and now Cleveland State. We have 17 teaching hospitals. And 1,800 clinical faculty. You know, that's that's quite a big number for uh, a medical institution. And so you have to think about all of the consequences um, of making, especially alumni, upset when you look at the big situation. Um, one of my kind of wild and crazy dreams about this is that you know they changed the name. Um, and uh, when I met with one of the uh, officials, <laughs> I'll call them somebody who works at the medical school. Uh, they gave me a mug <laughs> with the uh, outgoing name of the school. And when I looked at it, um, what is bigger than the name is the logo. And it occurred to me that, you know, they're probably going to change the name. They're probably going to change the logo, I would think. And something that would be very interesting to see is, you know, when they try to mend the fences with the alumni and say, hey, you know, we changed the name, but we also want to do branding <laughs> or new branding uh, with maybe a new logo. And we would love for the alumni to take part in that. And we want to make it right this time. Um, that's kind of my wild and crazy dream. I don't think it's going to happen. But, you know, if if I was kind of running things, that's the kind of strategy that I would do next. Um, I think it would be effective. Um, I don't know if you would think that would be effective, but I think that would be a, a step in the right direction. Yeah, I definitely, you know, and you mentioned the logo, and that was one of my next thoughts exactly is, you know, once you change the name, then you probably inevitably will change the logo as well. And, and you know, personally, I think that that would, would be great, and uh, and especially if you had some sort of a designing contest where you had you know people submit their ideas. Um, you have to do some brainstorming, just like um, with anything else, to get something right. Um, so you have to present as many ideas as possible, have votes on it, you know, contests or whatnot. I think that would make it at least um, an experience where everyone's involved. You know, one other thing with the name changes, I would actually like to see the accountability from a standpoint of finances. How much is this going to cost? Um, you know, the school will try to say, no, we're going to, you know, wait till our supplies of letterheads and business cards run out and then order consequently. But I still think that's going to cost quite a bit of money, and I'd like to see the exact dollar figure when it's all said and done. I think that's, uh, you know, part of the process is um, discussions and, you know, just for the thought and, you know, new ideas are still coming up even even this far out in the process. And, I just encourage the medical school to look at this issue and say, yes, we wanted to do a change, but we didn't do it the right way, and now what can we do to fix it? And like you said, some of the ideas that you've mentioned are um, very, very good. And I mean, we'll have to eventually put this, I, this whole name change behind us and, and move forward and um, do what we can to still support the institution. Um, but it's, it's going to be a little bit of an uphill battle for them to present it to us positively from an alumni standpoint. Yeah, and, you know, and just to let the people know, you know, I, I made two YouTube videos on this, uh, you know, and they were attached to uh, blog posts on my blog, DrAnonymous.com, and, um, you know, I know <clears throat> that they are being seen at the medical school, and I know, um, I don't know who they are, but I know that on those days, 
Um, I got a lot of hits on my site from the medical school. So um, uh, I think it's very cool um, that social media uh, is, I think, you know, in my little selfish mind, helping to drive this and, and to you, Vish, to, you know, contacting newspapers and, and using more traditional media to try to get the word out. And hopefully we can mobilize some of our friends and some of our alumni and some of the people who, who feel similar to uh, continue to reach out uh, to social media and traditional media to help, you know, spread the word. Um, and you're right. I mean, I'm not going to be, you know, hanging on to this story forever. I mean, I'm actually, I'm probably coming close to just being over with it because I think I've said all I want to say about it. Um, but our point is that we want to let people know what our point of view is, um, that we're not happy with it. Um, but we will move on. Um, but, um, you know, I'm not going to forget this, uh, in the near future. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I think, I think, you know, our voice will be heard and, uh, and and I've spoken with administrative people from the school, and I, I told them, you know, I'm not trying to trying to be mean or personal about it, but it's it's something that's dear to my heart as far as this issue goes. But I definitely appreciate the uh, time that you've given to me, and uh, and I hope to stay in touch with you over the next few weeks as this issue weeks, months, and probably even the next year as this issue still kind of uh, resolves itself and. I'm more than willing to talk to anyone from the school if they want to contact me. They have my email. They have my phone number. So I'm open to discussing the issue further if anyone wants to. But like you said, you know, we've discussed this thing to death, so it's um, definitely time to move on. <laughs> All right, buddy. Uh, thank you so much for the time. And uh, you know, uh, yeah, I, I agree. As this as this progresses, you know, if uh, I could bring you back on the show, if, if maybe discuss some of the follow up on this if it's relevant, um, but. Uh, uh, but I thank you for coming on the show, and, and I agree with you. You know that the reason why we're, you know, I don't think we're bringing up a big stink about it, but uh, you know, we are making our voices heard. Is that you know, I I still love the school, you know, and you love the school, and uh, you know, and uh, if we didn't, we wouldn't be doing any of this. So uh, I hope that, um, uh, I hope that's uh, brought forward uh, to uh, the powers that be at the school, because I agree with you. I, I'm not trying to make a big stink about it. I'm not trying to embarrass the new president. Uh, I'm just trying to uh, make my point of view be heard as well. So, uh, so Vish, thank you so much for the time, and uh, we'll talk very soon. Okay. Have a good night. Okay.